Arc is an email client for your terminal, designed to make reading and writing emails efficient and productive, especially if you use email to collaborate on software projects. I'm Drew DeVault, the maintainer of Arc, and I'd like to take you on a brief tour of its features. When we start Arc for the first time, we're presented with an account configuration wizard. This wizard handles the most common mail server configurations, but more complex scenarios supported through manual configuration. When we complete the wizard, the tutorial opens. I'll let you read this in your own time. I can close this tab by pressing Q, and we will be presented with my inbox. ARC's default key bindings are similar to V. I can navigate through my message list with J and K, and open a message by pressing Enter. This demonstrates one of ARC's most interesting features, the Embedded Terminal Emulator. This message is being displayed with the Less Pager software, and has been run through a filtering script for adding colors to patches. There are other filters as well. For example, coloring quotes and emails, or rendering HTML emails with W3M. Another place where the embedded terminal is useful is when composing emails. Let's write a reply to Ludovic by pressing RQ for quoted reply. The compose window appears pre-filled in with a quoted version of his message. I can cycle through its fields using Ctrl J and Ctrl K but when replying to an email, the defaults are usually fine. Let's turn our attention to the editor. The text editor is running an instance of Vim, again an Arc's embedded terminal emulator. This is an improvement over, for example, MUT, where the editor takes over the entire terminal, because I can switch back to my inbox to reference the message or read new emails. Let's go ahead and send our reply. After I save and close the editor, I have a chance to review the email, add attachments, and so on. Pressing Y will send the email. That covers the basic email features. Let's also take a look at the software development features more closely. I have in my inbox a few patches pending review. Let's start with this one. Since this patch is for Sourcehead's to-do service, I'm going to ask Arc to change directory into the git repo where I keep that code. Then. I can use the pipe command to feed this email into git am, applying the patch to my local git repository. Then I can press Control t to open a new terminal tab and examine the results. This looks good, so I'll push it to my upstream repository. And let's not forget to thank Michael for his patch. This time I'll use RR, which will reply without quoting the original email. The next patch needs some work. Let's use RQ again to reply with some feedback. I can slice up the patch however I like by editing the reply before it's sent, adding my feedback in line and trimming out unnecessary text. This covers the basic features of ARC. I've spent the past three years designing and building ARC, and now that the final approach has been settled on, it is quickly improving. However, it has not yet been completed. You may experience the odd crashes, weird behavior, and conspicuously missing features when you give it a try. However, for those inclined to the bleeding edge, ARC already represents a compelling daily driver for email enthusiasts. Please give it a shot and send feedback and patches to the mailing list. In the future, I would like to extend ARC with support for a wider variety of email standards, improved integration with version control systems, contacts and calendar synchronization, and more. I'm looking forward to building the best email client in the world with your help.